Welcome back to another episode of Live with RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia, brought to you by SciTech Nutrition. Visit SciTechNutrition.com. I'm Dave Palumbo, your host, and we have a very special show tonight. Maybe not an Olympia show, but we have the youngest IFBB pro ever here with us today for an interview. Her name is Nicole Neergarter, and she is one hell of a fitness pro, and I'm excited to talk to her because I like to know how the youth of America, how the youth of this industry has come up and is going to take us into the next millennium, so to speak. So, Nicole, welcome to the show. Hello. And I gave you a big workup, but you deserve it because at 16 <laughs> years of age, you turn pro and you're an IFBB professional uh, and you're still in high school. That's amazing. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, about, you know, what it feels like, I guess, to be the youngest pro out there. Maybe of, I think of all time, you're the youngest pro, right? Yeah, I think I just beat the record. So, <laughs> seventeen, I think, was the youngest. I think Ariel Kadar was 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 yeah, right there Ariel, on the cusp. Yeah, seventeen and ten days. <laughs> you knocked her out of that position. Yeah. Was it a shock for you when you won at the team? Well, you you actually came in second at the team universe, but the top two get pro cards. Was that a was that a big surprise for you when that happened? Oh yeah, I was not expecting that. I mean, I went there, I wanted to win, but. I, I didn't expect it, so that's you, pretty cool. You did your first show in 2012 at 13 years of age. Uh, incredible. Uh, you know, what, what made you decide to get into fitness uh, competitions? Because that's a pretty young age to feel that motivated to want to get on the stage and compete. Yeah. Well, um, I met Amanda Marinelli at um, Grand Island, and she got me into um, eating better and she told me about fitness, she showed me some videos, and she told me to give it a try. So I um, competed in my first show, which was on a level, and I, after that I just knew that I loved it. So. And then I ended up going to um, Southern States. Were you a gymnast before that? Yeah, I was. So you had a gymnastics background, so you obviously knew the routine round would be something that you would be good at. Yeah, well, floor was always my strongest in gymnastics, so... What, yeah, how far did you go in gymnastics? What was your, uh, you know, I know they have different levels. Um, I got to level seven. There's ten levels. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> now, did you, uh, I think you got hurt, right? Isn't that why you stopped doing gymnastics? Yeah, I got an ankle injury. So it just stopped me from tumbling. And that's when I took some time off and I started with my lifestyle plan that um, Amanda put me on. And it was, it was just cool. Now, I started working out. What kind of injury did you uh, did you get? What happened to you? My ankle. I fractured my ankle, my growth plate. So. Doing what? I, um, I was running on the floor at gymnastics and I tripped over a mat. Oh, so. it was a freak accident, in other words. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like I was tumbling. I would have rather, yeah. Was that myself. was that very depressing <laughs> for you? What was that? Was it very depressing when you hurt yourself? Yeah. Well, it was right before competition season and. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> so when you when you get hurt like that, I mean, what what happens? I mean, obviously you you were in a cast, right? You couldn't do yeah. any exercise. Did you yeah, get, I had to take time off, and they just made me condition a lot. So did you? I got stronger. I mean, it benefited me in a way, I guess. <laughs> when you had to take that time off, did you notice that you gained a lot of weight? Is that what is that what happened? No. That was about the time I started working with Amanda, so she was keeping track of my weight. <laughs> Did, you know, in gymnastics, I would assume they don't really go over diet with you when you're a young girl like that. No. And yeah. That's why most gymnasts are very stocky. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel yeah. that that's a, something that, that needs to be improved in the gymnastics world? I would say, yeah. I mean, I think that we should have not necessarily a diet, but a healthy eating plan just to let us know because I had no idea – you know, much about healthy eating before I started fitness. So have you, it would have definitely helped me in gymnastics. Sure. Now, are you still in touch with some of the girls that you were doing gymnastics with at the time? Um, not really. Yeah. We kind of went to different schools, so. You could kind of be the, uh, you could be their dietitian now, now that you have all this great information <laughs> and you're a pro, you know? Yeah, well, that's actually what I want to do when I get older, be nutritionist. So. <laughs> 
Now, I understand you're uh, not only you are, are you in your uh, senior year of high school, but you've also been taking a lot of college credits. Yeah. <laughs> at the local I'm college. I'm still involved in um, IRSD College, so I go there every day. I've been taking about, I have, th I've had about 30 credits. So that's, it's about um, that's a lot. six classes. Yeah. What made you decide to want to go to college early like that? Well, I got accepted to Clark, and um, we just had the opportunity to go to the college and take classes, so it's a good opportunity. I took it. <laughs> gotcha. Now, we're watching your routine from Team Universe where you turn pro. It's the, uh, I remember the routine. I was there because I, rem I, I always liked the movie uh, The Hunger Games, and you did a yeah. little, you did a little uh, routine from, you know, dressed as the Mockingjay. Yeah, it was Katniss. <laughs> where, did, where did that come from? Whose idea was that? Um, I watched the movie, and I just wanted to be a strong character. I wanted to do like a warrior type of theme, so. And you kind of just... you kind of look like her too a little bit, don't you? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Who made the costume for you? Um, Kara from Son of the Sun. She made it for me. Okay. Does she do your suits also? Um. Yeah. She. Yeah. She made my suit for the competition. Mm -hmm. Now, when you when you're putting together a routine or trying to choreograph a routine. Uh, do you have someone who's helping you, or do you do it yourself, since you have a gymnastics background? Um, well, no. My uh, choreographer, Frank, he makes all my music. Um, and Maria also helps me. She puts in the strength moves, and she... Yeah. <laughs> Marie who? Uh, Maria Bolando and Frank Concepcion. Okay, so you work with her? Yeah, Frank is a dance, and uh, he makes music and stuff. So he puts together... The whole, like, cool theme, the catness, you know, music and stuff. How long do you have to practice a routine like that? How, how much time is that uh, commitment does that require to learn a routine with all the skills that you displayed? To perfect the whole thing, it took me a year. From, wow. Because you could see a difference from the first competition to the last one. Now, yeah, you did. It was just, you worked with the flaws and stuff. You did the Arnold Amateur earlier in the year, uh, and you took seventh there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> after, after that placing, um, what was the critique that you received that you needed? To um, it was mostly on my physique. It was uh, they liked the routine. I just I knew I had to clean it up a little bit, but it was mostly my physique. Do you find the diet and getting all that body fat off, especially at your young age, is that difficult for you? Yeah, it's difficult, but. I mean, I love doing it because I get to see the progress. Mm. How, how do you d incorporate your diet with going to school? Because, you, you know, do you, do you bring your food with you? Yeah, I always bring my, um, my six-pack bags with me to school. Oh. They're pretty cool. They have, like, the compartments and stuff. <laughs> do, yeah. the, do the kids in school think it's a little weird that you bring your food with you? They just look at me like, why are you eating chicken? Why is it not fried? <laughs> uh <-huh. But. laughs> Is that, is that a big sacrifice to make, you know, not being able to eat the food that the other kids eat, going out to fast food and stuff like that? Um, I mean, I just think of it this way. Like, when I eat good, I feel better. So, I mean, if they want to eat that way, it's okay. I used to eat like that, but I don't really miss it. So. Now, you know, getting into competitions is really like, I mean, it's a totally different world. I mean, I would assume you have, is it hard or do you have like, um, is it, Difficult, I guess, having your friends from high school and then having the people that, like, you know in the industry uh, from fitness and stuff like that? Um, in other I words, in incorporating I mean, the two worlds, so to speak. What was that? Is it difficult incorporating the two worlds, like, you know, the fitness world versus the high school friends, you know? Oh, yeah, well, high school, they, they don't understand anything really about fitness. They, they think of me as, like, you know, why are you eating salads and what are you a bunny and stuff? So they don't really understand. I have to kind of tell them that, you know, this is stuff that we're not taught in school. So about health. Right. And what about like I'm sure they like to go out and do stuff on the weekends. Do you, have you found that you had to sacrifice a lot of events? Well, I am allowed a Gmail once in a while, so I could feel a little normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, are you going to be going to your prom this year? Um, or next year, I should say. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'd rather go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I, the reason I ask you is I asked uh, Nicole Negrani that, another Nicole who uh, turned pro while she was in high school. Uh, and she and same thing with Courtney King, who's now Miss Olympia. She was also in high school when I, when I interviewed her at a show. 
And I think yeah. she went to her prom and didn't, and it was like the night before our show or something like that. <laughs> she oh, didn't need okay. anything. So. <laughs> That's me. Do you feel like you're missing anything since you're doing this at such a young age? No. I feel like I'm actually doing more because I get to travel. I get to, you know, start younger. Now, obviously, turning pro is a great thing. But now you're in the big league, so to speak, and you got to compete with all the, you know, the, the top girls in the world. Is that an intimidating type of thing for you to go through? No way. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet them and step on stage with them. Who do you, who's your favorite uh, fitness competitor of all time? Um, right now, I think Maria Bolando, because I watched her routine and she's pretty amazing. I mean, I, w I was too young to actually watch when she was actually competing, but she showed me a couple of her videos. It's pretty who, cool. Who and of course, Miss Olympia, Oksana. Right. Who do you think has, has done the best routines? I mean, I don't know if you've ever actually looked back at the old Miss Olympias, but uh, whose routines do you really, can you relate to more? Um, I would say Adela. Okay. What do you like about Adela's routines? What was that? What do you like about Adela's routines? Oh, her high energy. She always did like the dancing and stuff. It was just always fun to watch. What's the, uh, what's on the schedule for Nicole, uh, this coming 2017 year? Do you have a shows picked out already? Um, not yet. No. Uh, I'm going to go through them when it gets closer to time. I'll sit down with Maria and we'll think about it. <laughs> I think that you have a good opportunity, you know, seeing that there are some fitness uh, events out there to obviously, if you were ever to win a show, you know, you could possibly be the youngest girl to, to win a pro show because uh, Ariel Kadar, who just won a pro show recently, she waited many years before she competed as a pro, so she's older now. Uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't even know if there's anyone in their teens has ever won a pro show out there. I'm not sure about that, but that would be definitely a goal. When do you see yourself? I mean, everyone always visualizes themselves uh, where they want to be in the future. When do you see yourself on an Olympia stage? Um, I know what's going to happen in time because I have to work on my physique. and uh, But I hope someday soon, maybe two, three years, <laughs> if that's not pushing it. <laughs> And in the meantime, as you're improving and working on what you're doing, wh where do you see yourself going in terms of professionally? I, I understand you want to be a nutritionist? Yeah. Nutritionist or sports medicine, something in the fitness field. All right. Well, you're young enough. You've got plenty of time, that's for sure. Enjoy, yeah. <laughs> enjoy the journey. That's, what I, that's my advice to you. Enjoy the journey because it goes really, really, really fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Nicole, I want to thank you for stopping in today and, and giving us a little update on yourself. I want to congratulate you again for the win at the Team Universe and, and for getting that IFBB Pro card and for becoming the youngest IFBB Pro of all time. Oh, it's so weird to hear. <laughs> all right. Nicole Neergarter, check her out. 2017, we're going to see her on a pro stage, and uh, we might see her in the victory circle and possibly at the Olympia. Uh, for now, though, we're out of time. I'm Dave Palumbo for another installment of Live With, brought to you by SciTech Nutrition. Visit SciTechNutrition.com. We'll see you next time.